for a closer look at that political crisis in Italy, we'll bring on Lorenzo De Sio, who's professor of political science at Luis Guido Carli University in Rome. Hi, Lorenzo. Thank you for joining us. So the leader of the Five Star Movement in the Senate, Mariolina Castellone, said that the decision to boycott the vote wasn't about confidence in the government. So what was behind the decision? Now, good morning to all of you. Thanks for inviting me. Now, the decision is about, in a way, uh, there was a disapproval of the specific measure that was under approval. And more specifically, it's a package that includes a lot of economic measure, but most importantly, the approval of building a waste management plant in Rome that the Five Star Movement accuses of providing potentially heavy pollution. And that party, you have to realize that this is a technocratic government with many parties. And of course, there are clashes between different parties on the line of the government. So why would the president then refuse uh, Draghi's resignation? Well, the situation is as follows. Uh, uh, the government is supported by a quite broad majority. It's an oversized majority that's much larger than 50 percent. So even without the votes from the Five Star Movement, uh, the government could technically survive and go on in its activity. And also, the Five Star Movement has clearly stated that it's they don't deny confidence into the government. They still have trust that the government can go on, but simply they disapprove the death specific measure. So President Mattarella is trying to save the legislature at all costs. So he's trying to push Draghi to come back to parliament and see if he can accept a new, if he can ask for a new vote of confidence. And what could happen could be, if Draghi accepts to do so, we could have two scenarios. One in which the Five Star Movement gives confidence again to the government. The other one where the Five Star Movement does not give confidence, but still there is a parliamentary majority. The problem is, of course, that Draghi doesn't want to run as a lame duck for the remainder of a legislature, so he is potentially resisting against these scenarios. Professor, given what you just said, it does seem kind of counterintuitive to me that Draghi would resign because of, a bo of the Five Star Movement boycotting the vote instead of just uh, they could have voted against his, his government in that confidence vote. Why? It almost feels like he's, he's created a conflict, that uh, a crisis that didn't necessarily need to be there. Why resign if their boycott was just over a specific legislative measure? That's a good point. Uh, the, the thing is that most political actors are trying to position themselves uh, before the next elections and also before the difficult situation that we will experience in the fall with the economic consequence of the sanctions and gas prices rising and heating problems. So in a way, Draghi does feel unhappy with this majority because it, it's a large majority. It's uh, ideologically heterogeneous. So it's been for him, it's not been an easy trip so far. So to some extent, it might be that he also might want to pull out from this experience also to protect his international standing, especially in perspective of some future scenarios and future, uh, his future career after this. Speaking of his, of his international standing, should there be new elections? The, they would obviously come amid the ongoing uh, war in Ukraine. Do you think that there, and as the gas crisis, as you, as, you, as, you, as you mentioned, which Italians obviously are feeling the weight of, like many other people in Europe, do you think that there's a risk that a new leader could have a radically different approach to the war in Ukraine, especially given that gas crisis, uh, if someone else were to be elected in the fall? Well, uh, it's hard to say that as current polls stand, um, I, I don't think that there would be major changes. I mean, the, the, if there, there is a snap election, of course, that would be problematic to have a snap election in September and uh, there would be time for forming a government, perhaps one month or two months. But I, I don't think that a new government will have radically different attitudes towards the, the war in Ukraine. There, there might be ma minor changes, but I don't think that Italy will change its overall road towards, uh, towards the war. Okay, Professor Lorenzo Di Sio, thank you very much for your time on the show today and Many for those thanks. explanations. Thanks. Many thanks, Byron.